Hey guys, this is Fernando doing another video for the Modern Survivalist. Just a few hours ago, the phone rang, I pick up and someone says, Hello sir, I'm coming from blah 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 company. We noticed that your internet connection is slower than it should be and it has been slow uh, the last few days. And I immediately thought, yes, exactly. I, I, yesterday I told my wife that the internet connection was surprisingly so, yes. What a great service. Uh, <laughs> they're calling me to fix this little problem. And he says, yes, yes, we've noticed this, that your, your connection is not what it should be. And I'm here to help you out. It, it seems that you have a, a virus of some sort. When he says virus, I, oh man. <laughs> he says virus and I say, what, what do you mean a virus? They have a, a, a computer virus? Yes, that's why your computer is, is slower than it should be. Well, that's strange. I have a good antivirus. Never never noticed anything like that. And I say, what is it that the company that you're calling from? And he says, we're a, a blah, blah, blah company. And I say, well, wait a minute. That's not my internet provider. And he says, no, we're working for, and he mentioned several internet providers, basically, all of the internet providers in the country and at that point I tell him you know what you basically mention all the internet providers in the country how, how do I know I mean I don't even know you just call me and I, I don't know who you are you know you don't know my name obviously because if not you you would have told it and, and he was also asking me what kind of operating system I had in my computer it's, that's the kind of information that any I worked in customer service myself and I know that that's the kind of information that you have already on your screen you know what computer the client is using and the operating system as well and the navigator as well and so I tell him you know give me a phone number and I'll call you back he says no sir I'm here to help you and improve your your internet connection I said okay I don't even know you just give me a name a phone number I'll check with my internet provider and then get back to you and that at that point he hangs up it seems that it's a common scam I, I looked it up in, in Google and it is a common scam they just call uh, this guy had a, like a Russian accent uh, it seems that it's from done from India as well and from other places it has been going on for a couple of years now they basically either ask you to buy an um, antivirus program on the computer sometimes they ask you to make certain changes and uh, grant them remote access to your computer which basically they just go through all your stuff all your details and steal as much information you know accounts uh, passwords as much stuff as they can and steal everything from you you can get you can get pretty ripped off with something like that you know, but it was funny because he started <laughs> m mentioning all those uh, broad uh, questions that you just know is typical of scams. And but you know how clever it is because you can basically pick up the phone, call anyone, and say, "We've noticed that you've had slow internet connection," and every single person that has an internet connection will, to some point, feel identified with that, given that no uh, internet provider ever. It lives up to the internet speed that they are advertising and always that's always the case but uh, when when he when he couldn't like give me proper answers and he wouldn't give me a, a phone I told him you know I'm not gonna be giving you any personal information I don't even know who you are especially coming from Argentina you're used to being tried to get ripped off and and scammed all the time it's you know people in Argentina are either trying to scam you rip you off or sell you something or steal from you so you're, you're very defensive in that sort of way uh, I think it's one of those things that's gonna be becoming more and more common as time goes by so you know you just have to be extra careful and these guys are, are getting good at it these guys I mean they may have stolen your mail and have a little bit more information from you uh, maybe even even know your name so you have to be extra doubtful extra extra careful and w whenever in the slightest bit of a doubt just hang up and just call back the, the company that they're supposedly coming from. May that be your electric company, your insurance company, your bank, whatever it is, you just call them directly and check with them if, if they're trying to get in touch with you. With, with computers, scam emails, there's so many of them. M many of them, again, it's like, it's like broad stuff. It's like, 
you, you get an email in, being invited for a convention about talking about uh, current world events, uh, the economic crisis, uh, and uh, economy, pol uh, politics, and religion. You know, that's basically everything. If, if, if the email you're getting is pretty broad, and to some point, for example, if you get an email that says, Yes, you are invited to a convention where we're going to be discussing uh, current world economic events, uh, how it's affecting politically, socially, uh, and how it's affecting people's health. Uh, an accountant, a lawyer, and a doctor would all feel identified with that sort of email. So they would, may, they would, they may be thinking, "Well, oh, they actually want me in this conference." You, you, start, you have to start being extra careful regarding giving any sort of information on the phone, on person, or on or through email, and you definitely never ever want to give up information about your credit cards, your debit card. Especially, never pay with Western Union and those person-to-person uh, -person type of payments, or or make a, a direct PayPal a payment without verifying who you're paying it to. And one of the other things you, you want to be very careful is be extra um, sure of the source of the email you're receiving. Sometimes they make very small changes. For example, you receive a, an email from Microsoft or PayPal for example. You, you receive an email from PayPal saying that you've just been uh, charged a, a thousand bucks, there's been a mistake and you have to get in touch with them as fast as possible. Say okay man that's PayPal, they're telling me to get in contact with them. And you notice that maybe the email you just got was paypal.info.com you know, or for example it's microsoft.data.com something like that. It's not like Microsoft.com, it's and that's where you notice that it's um, a fake account being created, so as to get you confused and thinking that's the real deal. It's it's Microsoft, it's PayPal or whatever other company, whatever other legitimate company, and um, and trying to just get you to reply to that mail and starting getting you from there. In general, if it's uh, if it's in your in your trash mail, that's a good indication. If it's uh, not in your trash mail, but it sounds strange, be be careful. Don't reply directly to that. Get in contact with whatever company it is and check if there's a scam. Copy little pieces of it and check if there's a scam going on along those lines. Usually, you will find it that if it's if it sound, sounds strange to begin with, it's usually it is a scam. Uh, also, in your front door, be very careful about that as well. There's been a scam going on lately that uh, they just uh, knock on your door, dressed up like the power company guy or or whatever other service, and they say, "Well, we've been having problems with your uh, with with, uh, with with your payments. We need to update your credit card information." And some people, very naive, just give up their information. It has happened before many many times. So all these things going on, there's millions, millions each year being robbed and stolen through different scams and different schemes uh, going on in, you know, internet, phone, or on person. So be careful, guys. Take care. Have a great day. See you in our next video.